Ah, but I digress, for this is not how the story begins. In fact, Lyra's journey properly starts in the town of Oxford at Jordan College. I can't wait till he gets here, Pan. He's been gone for so long, I can hardly remember what he looks like. Do you think he'll bring us that walrus tusk he always promises? I want to hear about all the experiments he's been doing. I bet he's seen witches and scralings and all sorts of things. Do you think he'll take us with him when he leaves this time? About as much chance as him bringing the walrus tusk, I suppose. Don't say that, Pan. I bet he will take us. And we'll go on all sorts of adventures. We go on all sorts of adventures here, Lyra. Lyra Balakwa! No more games now, it's time for your bath! Uh-oh, Mrs Lonsdale. Shh. We can sneak out onto the roof before she comes in. I can't understand why Mrs Lonsdale always thinks we need a bath. As soon as I figure out which key opens this door, you're gonna get it! If we're going to leave, we should make sure we have everything we need. This might come in handy. What was I thinking, putting my marbles all the way up there? Maybe you could throw something up there and knock them down. Got it! trying to go out that window. You know, you should really consider letting Mrs Lonsdale give you a bath one of these times. Ha! No mere window can hold Lyra Balacqua. The fastest way to get rid of that girl is to bring out the sponge. It's safe. Let's get going. I've always wanted one of those. I just received word that Lord Asriel will be arriving in a few moments. Ah, yes. This is all moving along far too quickly for my liking. Is there anything we can do? No. The events are already in motion. <sighs> Come then. We have much to do in precious little time. Israel's photogram equipment is ready in the retiring room. But I feel like I'm forgetting something. Did you remember the toke? <gasps> Lord Asriel's favourite drink. I forgot to tell the butler. You'd forget your head if it wasn't already attached. Anyways, the steward is responsible for all Lord Asriel's requests today. Wait a minute. Isn't the butler supposed to handle everything? Right. But you know the steward. Always trying to make the butler look bad in front of the master. Those two pompous... Why am I standing around talking to you? I'd better catch the steward. I just saw him walking towards the courtyard. Hurry up. Lord Asriel's almost here. What do you think he means? I don't know, but I don't like hanging around out here. Come on, Lyra. We should keep moving. This one's nice. This might come in handy. You keep Salsilia busy, Pan. I'll go get Roger.
I saw a gobbler last night. No, you didn't. No one's seen him. Well, I did. What did they look like? You can't tell. They wear long capes with hoods to hide their faces. Then how do you know they was gobblers? <coughs> nice one! Plumpets? Falling from the sky? This proves my theories. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Well, see, they kind of have this walk, and it's hard to describe, but you'd know them if you saw them. What was the gobblers doing? They were searching for kids to gobble. They spied a gypsum girl by herself, but before they could chase her, I threw a rock. Bang! It hit the leader. After that, they disappeared quick as a wink. You weren't scared those gobblers might come after you instead? No. I ain't scared of much. Not Mrs. Lonsdale. Not gobblers. Not night ghasts. You ain't never seen a night ghast. You would told me if you did. Well, I wouldn't be scared if I did see one. Good job! What? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> What's that sibling doing? Is it gonna land here? Why would they come right to the college instead of the big landing dock in Oxford? It must be someone important on board. Maybe it's a king. It ain't no king. It could be. I'd have heard if it were a king coming to visit. Not much happens here I don't know about. Nice one! Right, that's not very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Then who's in that zeppelin? I guess we'd better find out. Ow! Hey, stop it! Ouch! The tanners! Celsia, come on! Hurry, Roger! What's the big idea? That the only way you think you can beat us? Setting an ambush while we're eating? <laughs> I didn't think the mighty Lyra would even notice a few shingles and cans. Maybe you should have had your boyfriend protect you. You take that back. It's okay, Lyra. They're just scared about what's going to happen to them in this game. That's so. Since you guys laid the challenge, it's only fair that we pick the game, right? We choose cat and hare. Then you two got to be the rabbits, because I ain't running from no one. That's OK. Ain't no way a girl's going to catch us anyway. And we're playing by Jordan College rules. So that means if either of you rabbits can reach this here weather vane, without being tagged, your team wins a point. But if we cats tag both of you, we win the point. First team to three points, then. Right. Lyra does the counting, and we start the hunt at 20. See you losers later. All right, Lyra. Start counting. Twenty. You tanners remember this, and don't come poking around our rooftops lest we give you the okay. Good game. You're awful fast, Lyra. You're going to be at the battle against the Egyptians on Thursday? Of course we are. Wouldn't miss it. What should we do now? I got an idea. Come on, Lyra. <laughs> 